Regrettably, there has been a number of shooting incidents in some districts which have generated a high level of fear and concern among the law-abiding citizens. This one-term use of firearms by these persons has resulted in the untimely death of four of our citizens and injuries to others. The senior command team of the Barbados Police Service, along with other members of the organization, have taken note of this situation and have instituted a number of appropriate responses to tackle this spike in firearm violence. This firearm issue is only a fraction of the entire crime map, which we as a primary law enforcement agency has to police, in addition to other anti-social behaviors. In order to bring some context to this discussion, I will give you the breakdown of the major and minor crimes which have occurred so far this year as opposed to 2023. In 2023, we recorded nine, nine cases of murder as opposed to 16 in 2024. Robberies, we recorded 16 cases, sorry, 69 cases in 2023 and 58 in 2024. Rape, 21 cases in 2023 and 22 cases in 2024. Aggravated burglary, 32 cases in 2023 and 28 in 2024. Theft from the person, 32 cases in 2023 and 29 in 2024. Commercial burglary, 56 cases in 2023 and 63 in 2024. Burglary in dwelling houses, 225 cases in 2023 and 192 cases in 2024. This is an overall total of 444 cases of major crimes in 2023 when compared to 406 cases in 2024 a 9 percentage reduction in major crimes when compared to last year. Looking at minor crimes, in 2023, there were 2,265 cases in this category, as opposed to 2,085 cases in 2024, an 8 percentage reduction in minor crimes. This gives us an overall reduction of 8 percent in crime reduction so far this year. As alluded to earlier in my reference to tackling the surge of firearm offenses, this will be done in a more robust manner going forward. Our intent is to take the firearms out of the hands of those young men and return a state of normality to our various communities where persons will be able to go about their businesses without any hindrances or fear of being harmed. So far this year, we were able to take 27 of these firearms out of the hands of persons, along with 262 rounds of ammunition. You may not be aware, but our officers have been working around the clock 24 hours a day to root out this firearm problem and especially when there is information that someone's life is in imminent danger of serious harm or death. The increased use of firearms within our communities has triggered mainly, was triggered mainly by disputes among persons who are familiar with each other. And unfortunately, their preferred manner in resolving this, these disputes is to resort to deadly force by utilizing these weapons. I must let it be known that our officers spend inordinate lengths of time to prevent some of these fatal shootings from occurring. And we have been successful in that effort. The intent is to save as many of our sons as possible. So this SOS intervention, that is save our sons, is quite apt at this juncture. 
The other motive for some of the murders is, to de is the desire of these men to acquire gold, specifically jewelry, so whether chains, bangles, or bracelets, items which can be readily converted into cash. Our actions in safeguarding our communities will be multi multifaceted and results-oriented. Those firearm users will feel the actions of our officers, who will be firm but fear, that is, operating within the confines of the law. There will be high-impact interventions and interactions with these criminal-minded. We in the police service are calling on all law-abiding citizens to partner with us in dealing with this obvious threat to our livelihoods. I am appealing to the families and relatives of these lawless persons to speak to these young men and encourage them to turn away from a life of crime. Don't wait until a wanted person's bulletin is published in the media. I didn't take up your hard-earned money to pay someone to represent your sons in the courts or to run to an airline agency and purchase a plane ticket to fly that wanted person out of the jurisdiction. The time to act is now. I wish to assure the public that the police service, in association with other law enforcement agencies, will continue in our efforts protect the peace and good order of our community.